Hello, my friends. It's Chris, the Batman Statue Collector. Hope everybody's doing great out there. And welcome back to another review here on the channel. Again, we do high-end reviews and unboxings and everything else. And I want to give a major shout-out to Collector Giuliano. Uh, Giuliano reached out to me, and he said he's a fan of the channel, and he just picked up this piece from Iron Studios. And this, of course, is the Batman and Robin 110 scale piece. And he asked if he could review it for us, and I said, absolutely. We haven't covered this one on the channel, and so I know a lot of you would maybe be interested interested in seeing this. Now, of course, this is the box art that we're looking at right now. Um, it is not a very sizable piece. And again, that's what's so great about uh, these particular pieces is the fact that they don't take up a lot of room and usually they don't break the bank. Now, this piece is a little bit more expensive because it's kind of like a diorama with Batman and Robin. Um, again from Iron Studio. So um, this is based on the uh, art concept by the incredible Ivan Rice. Um, beautiful uh, cover art, um, always does a great job and has inspired so many of these amazing pieces from Iron Studios over the years. Um, this is of course a polystone piece and obviously that is his artwork right there um, that actually inspired the statue. So it's really cool actually, I think the box would pair up really nicely, but look at this. This is the classic, and I'm talking classic Batman and Robin. Whenever I was a kid, this is the image of Batman, Robin, Batman and Robin that I, you know, really thought of. Um, the bright colors, the red, the yellow, the green on Robin. Um, again, this is 110 scale, so it is not going to be massive here. Um, it, let me give you some dimensions real quick, just so you get an idea in your head here. 9.8 inches tall, 8.6 inches wide by 9.4 inches deep. Okay, so again, a small piece. So we do have to consider the detail. Whenever you shrink something down to this size, oftentimes you lose a little bit of detail. But after watching this video, after seeing this footage, there is a lot of texturing here in this piece. And you can really see it on the actual suit. You can actually see it really well in the cape. And uh, we'll talk about that. But you can see the shading in the ab area looks great. Um, not a tremendous amount of definition in the portrait, but you can definitely see uh, you know, him scowling through the cow, which I do like. I really think the chest is a big highlight on this piece. Um, you know, there are areas that, in my opinion, look a little bit plasticky, but again, whenever you shrink things down, it makes it very difficult. But again, this is, there's no plastic, this is polystone, um, and so, you know, definitely keep that in mind. But again, you know, I'm used to one-third scale pieces with that level of detail, so uh, one-tenth is just different. Um, but you're still getting a lot of quality here. Um, this does retail for $210. Um, you know, you can say, well, is that too much? Is it too little? Uh, for something like this, you're basically getting two characters. Um, so I, I don't think the price is that bad considering sometimes these pieces just for one character goes for over 150, 160. Uh, so I don't, I don't think 210 is that bad. Um, it's got a fun base. It's got that billowing smoke. It kind of reminds me of some Prime 1 pieces lately. Um, but I think, I think what really captures here is the color. The color is really beautiful. Uh, if you love blue Batman, um, oh, just look at the weathering there on the back, on the bottom of the cape. That's a nice touch. Do you guys see that? That uh, that brownish color again. Um, I, I love when companies add weathering because it just really brings a lot of realism to the statue. Um, look at the, the way the cape is cracked, that leather. It's just really a beautiful sculpt. I think it's really, really well done. I really like how it um, flows in this particular piece. So uh, again, the the price point here, I think is fair, um, considering you're getting basically two. It's kind of like a diorama in my opinion. Um, again, this might not be for everybody in terms of what they collect, but if you don't have a lot of room and you really want a classic Batman piece in your collection, this is one that you should definitely consider picking up. Um, it is shipping right now at Sideshow Collectibles. I will put the link in the description if you are interested in that. If you do use that link, it does help support us here on the channel. So thank you guys very much for your continued support. And again, I just think that overall this looks really, really good. Um, there are some uh, pieces, especially the movie pieces, I'm not always a big fan of uh, with the Iron Studios pieces just because of the lightness. You know, whenever you, again, whenever you shrink things down, it kind of dumbs down things a little bit. Whereas comic book pieces, you know, it's open to interpretation. It is what it is. And I think this really captures that classic feel. I mean, I get kind of that 60s Batman vibe, 60s, 70s, 80s. Um, and I just think it looks really well, uh, really, really good. Look at the weathering on the bottom of Robin, uh, the red, um, I don't know, what do you call that, a tunic or whatever you, whatever you call that, the, the top shirt. Um, it just looks good and weathered there. I think that's nice, uh, good texturing throughout. 
uh, again, some of the areas on the crate cape maybe could be used a little texture. It's a little smooth, but again, uh, you don't want to over texture these things either. But I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you guys think about this piece? Again, I think it's fun. Um, and again, it's just a great piece you can add to your collection. And again, I want to thank Giuliano for providing this great footage for us so we can talk about it here on the channel. But again, leave your thoughts down below. Otherwise, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys right here in the Bat Cave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Bat Cave.